hi so this is gonna be a sort of different type of video basically it's gonna be like my song song songs that I have listened to recently or that have come out recently by I guess they're all sort of rookie groups and stuff of songs and just like groups that I didn't really and there's some groups that are have the debut song that I'll be talking about or some that have had like a comeback song well there's only one like that that I didn't really like their original song but then they came back with something really good so let's just start I'm going to be talking about two three four five six seven just so videos so first off we're going to talk about minx why did you come to my home that song is so catchy it's like kind of hip-hop-ish with the and I'm just like, yeah, that's cool. I like that. And then the chorus hits. And it's so catchy. I really like the Ani Ani parts. And let's just say the vocals in that song are amazing. For a rookie group, I did not expect the one member named Shion to just get all of in those high notes and have all these long stretched out notes yes so all in all the video was really colorful it was really cool it was really the song was really catchy it was a really good debut in my opinion and i would give this that my favorite member is either the one that sings the chorus part with the Ani Ani's Yuhyun or the main vocalist Shion. Both of those two are the ones that have stood out to me. The group, I'm definitely anticipating what they're going to do next. So next, we're going to talk about another rookie group that debuted in October. They are called Hotshot. Wow. with their song take a shot I was really impressed with this song this debut it's a hip-hop debut which seems like a few groups have been doing little hip-hop fused like debut from like the mink song to the um, other groups that I will be talking about in the video let's just say that group has a lot of really fine members like when i first watched it i was think i was looking to see who was catching my eye and a lot of them was catching my eye like everyone was catching my eye sungwoon was catching my eye um who the leader timoto timotho whatever he was catching my eye and the main rapper san was catching my eye in the end, I did settle on Sam because he was very attractive and his rapping was really good. And he is not one of those just like idol rappers where they couldn't sing. So they were like, okay, so you're rapping. No, he's an actual rapper. He has a SoundCloud, which is on point. And he actually goes hard in the vein. Like he's one of them that's actually a rapper with some substance, not some like put together gangsta thug <laughs> okay so next we're going to be talking about zpzg they debuted uh when did they debut i don't remember but they had their song go crazy and this group is like with Ki Kwan's cousin, he's one of the members, and I was pleasantly surprised with the song. I thought it was really good. It was really catchy too. It was like 
driving me crazy. I was like, yes, this song is good. I like a catchy song. If your song is catchy, I'm definitely finna listen to it. And all the members had like their own little thing. The music video was cute. And I would say my bias is Jihoon, which was the one with the um, long hair that was brown, who sang only two parts, but that's okay, you know. But that song was really good. Then this is the only group that has been in the K-pop world. Alphabet, Alphabet, Alphabet City, whatever that AB song was that they debuted with that I just was not for. Oh my gosh. It's A kind of old song because I think we released in the summertime, but I I didn't hear it until a, a recently, like in October. Yeah, my bad. But that song was really catchy. The minute I heard the song start, I knew that this was gonna be my jam, which I was right. The song is very catchy. The music video is kind of basic, but the song makes up for it. I really enjoyed the song. It's very catchy. It's like, I love you, my girl. I need you only, girl. I have yet to choose a bias. All I know is that Ricky's older brother is in the group, but that's not going to sway my opinion. Okay. And then this next one that I'm talking about, they're a subunit to a group that I don't really listen to, Cran Pop, um, Choa and Wei's Strawberry Milk, Dalgi Uyu. With their song, okay. I listened to the preview on iTunes. I was like, oh, this is cute, this is catchy. And it did remind me of an anime opening theme song, like that kind of feel to it, like rocky and really catchy and sugary, like most anime theme songs are, like Sugar Chara and stuff. The happy ones, not like Fruits Basket where it's slow as fuck. And first off, Pink Explosion. <laughs> that video is pure pink. It's pure sugar. The song was really catchy. And it gets stuck in my head with the la 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 la. And the dance is really easy too. Like you can easily just be like, okay. So it was really cute. It was really catchy. The girls were very cute. The twins. I don't know how you would tell them apart. There's people that say there's a way to. I don't know because I don't follow Korean pop like that. But they was on point. Next, we're going to be talking about another group that debuted with a hip-hop theme. Like Hot Shot. It is Madtown. From the same label as M Black with their song YOLO. I, okay, first off, when I saw the teaser pictures on the um, Soompi website and stuff, I was very excited because they was looking right. I didn't hear the song yet or nothing, but they was looking right. And then I did hear the song, and it was hip-hop, and I was like, ooh, and the beat was nice. And my bias is Hyo, Hyojun. He is like the dancer or whatever so he didn't sing that much in the song i think he only sang like once but the song was good like i liked it the chorus is really catchy it took me a little bit more to get into the song but after i did i was done sold it was great and so lastly i don't want this video to be like extremely long because it's just me like talking about some songs um unique with their single falling in love i'm falling in love okay so they had like all those teasers which i was kind of for kind of not for truthfully i don't think i watched any of them except for the one that was shirtless and the skateboarding one which was um my bias sung yoon's the song was really catchy. It has that same sort of feel, like R&B kind of beat that I do love. It's more complex of a beat, like the verses, than just your little simple boom clap. 
It was very good. The vocals was good. And the song was really catchy. Like, the chorus is very catchy. Like, I'm falling in love. Not for me, though. But it was very cute. And the music video was very cute. I think their um, logo and how their name is is very cute as well. How it's partly unicorns. <laughs> That's very cool. So, that was my video. I guess this is going to be, like, I guess you could say attack of the rookies because i do try to get into some of the rookies sometimes their vid the videos be looking low budget as crap but there is that cream of the crop every year that debuts with something a little bit different and a little more eye popping than the typical rookie so those were my thoughts on some of the songs that have been very much a part of my life if there's other songs that you have liked by like lesser known k-pop groups please leave them in the comments down below i'd like to know i'm always up for new song suggestions i did watch um the big are you ready i did like it it just didn't make my list because i have not listened to it as much and yeah but it was okay the video was okay as well I did like Benji because he did remind me of a certain somebody named that start, that sounds like bacon. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. So, I will see you guys on the next video. I would say I would do a reaction to Infinite F. But that is a Japanese thing. And I'm not trying to get copyrighted. Alright? So, I might just have to do a review. And you can see my spazzing in the review. Because I'll probably be spazzing about it afterwards as well. November 19th, y'all. And I'm excited for A-Pink's comeback. I'm excited for all these girl groups that are debuting. Like, and the stuff you have G with Lehigh, the girl from Oxford Musician and Bobby. I'm excited for that. I'm here for that. And I'm also excited for Woolum's girl group, Lovelies. So I'll be on the lookout. So see you guys later. Bye.